Hey guys, Pirate Captain Dark here, and I'm bringing you a new Let's Play. This game is called To the Moon, so I'm really excited to be playing it. I got a lot of recommendations uh, and people saying they wanted to see this, so I decided to finally get around to playing it, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, so let's start. Alright, let's begin. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect. Whoa. You can see it's very detailed. It's pretty nice. Wow, that's a very nice house. Hopefully that's my house. It's two kids, and the girl seems to be playing on the piano. All right. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> that didn't sound too good. Ah, car accident. Let's see here. Doctor Rosaline says, "Where were you looking, Neil?" And that's Dr. Watts who says, well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click an object to interact with it. Alright, so... There we go. Received equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. Okay, where are we going exactly? Up here, I'm guessing? Hey wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Oh, okay. How thoughtful of you. Let's see here. Hmm. Are we going this way now? I must say, it's really creepy being in these woods. Can I go? No, I can't. Okay. I guess the only way is up. I just wanted to see if there was anything else. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or, we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, let's try pushing it by hand. Alright, on three. One, two, three. I, I don't even... <laughs> what was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll figure that thing out later. Right. Well, uh, from what I've seen so far of my games... Oh, it's those squirrels! From what I've seen from my games so far, those... That seem to be like a slime. From Terraria. No, don't go back here. <laughs> I guess they just put the squirrels back in. Alright. So let's see, where are we now? Oh, it's that house from the beginning. Should we go in? Let's try going in. Knock, knock. Ma, they're here. Wait, they're... They've been expecting them? 
Whoa, okay. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts, love him or hate him? You know the answer, you stupid owl. I don't mind night shifts. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> and the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Uh -oh. Don't forget the equipment, moron. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Who used to say that a lot? I don't get paid enough for this. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Oh. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Interesting. Come on, grab the, that case and let's go. Hmm. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> Received equipment. Yep. Okay. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Oh, okay, I have to control them. Go upstairs? Yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. What does that mean? No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. This is a nice introduction. Interesting story so far. Not bad, not bad. The skids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteor of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Okay, never mind. What's going on here? Um, talk to her? No? Her? Ready to set up? Look around first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still unconsciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Okay, never mind. I guess let's get this. Yes, it's set the machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Hmm. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap, <laughs> I guess not. 
standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. What is this? How's he doing? Not so well, if I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can he do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. Alright. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Hmm, I guess I'll play as Dr. Watts because he's, uh, <laughs> he's funnier. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. <laughs> Good enough. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, nah, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. Uh, they're probably downstairs at the piano. Alright. Uh, let's look at this. It's been bothering me for some time. Let's just move around here. A selection of readings from medical journals. Okay. That didn't really help. Uh, let's see here. What does that do? Nothing. Um... I suppose I could go look at these. I wanna just make my way down here. Nope. Controls are kinda of weird. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Okay. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. And no, just a casual painting of three people. Alright, just paintings. Nothing important. Hmm. I suppose we can go down here. Take the long way down, and it is just a bathroom. Oh, what is that? Oh, the lights, right. <laughs> I need that. I don't think I can do anything else here, so I'm just gonna leave. And go downstairs to where the kids are. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Alright. Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no salt to strike button. I seem to have a knack for those. Chinese heart monitor is now activated in menu. It, wait, what does that matter? Okay, that's the time. I suppose I'll talk to the children. Hello. What you want? Show around the house? Hey, your ma told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! 
Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it in there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well, shall I go get it for you? You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or I just tell your mother. The kitchen's, the kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. It's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's see here. There's that candy cane. That wasn't too bad. I can't reach it. Can I maybe use a chair or something? Oh no, I need to push this. There we go. Received candy cane. Nice. Wait, why didn't I turn on the lights? Booyah! It's like taking a candy from an inanimate baby. Alright, let's go further. Let's just give the candy now. No, over here. Controls are kind of weird. There we go. Alright kiddos, I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. see here all right where do we start I know there's this funny room in the basement I don't like that funny room uh, what kind of funny room you'll see it's weird we need to get the keys though the old man hid it inside a book in the study okay where are where's the study then this way? I assume so, because now it's the bathroom. Can't really do anything here. No. Alright, fine. I'll go back out. Where's the study? Is it this way? This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Um, what's all this stuff then? Alright, turn on the lights. Let's go to the bookshelf so we can get what they're talking about. Dustlight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Passage? Uh, maybe next time. Received room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. Yeah, he does. All right, let's go. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Oh my god. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. So uh, you guys are just a bunch of books in here. There's nothing I know about though. I wonder if Johnny has actually read all these books. So we can open the funny room in the basement now. I guess we'll go to the basement. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Hide and seek here. Wow. Turn on the light before you trip over something. All right. There we go. Uh, anything down here worth noting about? Doesn't look like it. So I guess we'll just go to the room. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down the stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna talk to him. We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. All the moldy things. The chest is locked. Aw. Should I go here? The door is locked. Open door with room key. Um. Do I... What's going on here? It's like a cave in here. Let's open the lights. Whoa! What? What is that? 
What are those things? A broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. Take it or poke it? Let's poke it. Fine, we'll take it. A rabbit folded out of paper. It's just rabbits? Man, that is... This is a weird room. Wait, are, the lights are on, right? Okay. Just walk out. What's going on? Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess, you aren't supposed to go in there either. Hey, hey. Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Decision, go see the lighthouse. Oh, to heck with it, I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. Wait, but before we do that, let's go see this bookcase. Ah, oh, I thought there would be a key here or something. No. Alright, fine. Let's go up. How do we go upstairs? There we go. You know what, we're gonna leave that for next time though, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I shall see you guys on the next episode. Later for now.